internet, I am once again back in the car, and yes, as you can see from the first clip in this video, I sold my shovel head chopper. Damn, I sold it to a guy up in Pittsburgh, he's going to take great care of it, um, seems like a super wicked awesome dude, so I'm probably going to see it again at Glory Days next year, which is nice, but I sold it because I bought a 1962 Panhead. Ooh, Panhead, baby! You know, the Panhead has been one of my dreams for so long, and it's it's just absolutely wild knowing that I own a Panhead now. It's so crazy, so wicked awesome. But yeah, so I bought it from a dude in New Jersey, rode it to Natalie's house in the pitch black, and uh, now today we're gonna go back and pick it up. But first, if you don't know, I'm a pilot, and one of my other friends, Dylan, who's also a pilot, is gonna fly down from the Massachusetts area. He's actually a chopper dude as well. 6'9 Speedco, the Lost Spotted Boys, you guys may have heard of him. Anyways, he's flying down in his Swift. We're gonna go have some fun, eat some lunch, fly the New York VFR corridor, so it's gonna be a wicked video. Stay tuned and uh, yeah, have fun, peace out. There he is! It's my buddy Dylan's plane and something super wicked about this one is I got to make the nose art for, uh, for him and his wife here and check it out, it looks pretty wicked. So this is my 62 pan head, my 62 pan head. As you can see there, pans for heads. Um, it's got an aftermarket distributor on it already, which I really like. I mean, the motor itself just looks super, super clean. Ratchet top transmission, juice drum on the rear. And one of my favorite parts are these original split tanks. You can see they're just so narrow, so perfect. I'm for sure gonna keep the split tanks uh, with my chopper build. I really love the chrome tin primary. They did a great job, whoever rebuilt this bike the way it is now. It's got this crazy electric start on there, which works pretty decent, actually. Drum brake on the front. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a proper machine. So honestly, I plan on keeping it as is for a little while, at least until I do take it apart. But yeah, Whew, look at that. This reminds me of like those uh, prism supply pack cocks they make nowadays, you know? Alright, boom, boom. I don't know this bike's ritual yet, but we'll see. Those three power kicks.
Oh yeah, this is also my first experience with the mouse trap. And these things are wild. I do not I do not understand them really, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty neato. Ratchet up. Oh another very cool thing is I found this duo glide pan head frame that's been hardtailed. So I'm not going to hardtail this frame, which is nice. And yeah, shout out to Butt Seat, got this seat. And of course, have not forgotten about this beautiful machine right over here. Still have some odds and ends left to tinker with, but she's pretty much on the road and <laughs> wicked machine. Boom. Also the throw for the foot clutch is perfect. So beautiful. And if you were wondering, yes, the hip implant does work phenomenally as a jockey shift handle, knob thing, grabber, whatever. I mean, like just over top of the bike. It fits perfectly right there in between your thigh. Boom, no probs. But leave some comments below how you think that this chopper should, uh, should be built. Like I said, I really honestly am going to leave it just as it is for a while. Maybe probably not even gonna touch it, take anything apart until June or July or January. I mean, sorry, fuck. January or February and just kind of enjoying the nice warmer days that we have left in Pennsylvania until then. But like I said, yeah, these split tanks are beautiful. I'm absolutely gonna be building a split tank chopper. So at least be stoked for that. But yeah, that wraps up this video. My new pan head, got electric casket still over there. See more content of that coming up soon. But yeah, cheers, happy birthday.